Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm out working in the garden, and it's cloudy, and it's a good day for pictures, so here we go. Welcome to my garden. Kizzy says welcome, too. Okay, on this side is vegetables. We have pepper plants. Lots of tomatoes. I kind of went overboard on tomatoes this year. And uh, it is a working garden, so you'll see things that if I was doing a formal garden tour, probably would not be here. And here's my high tower. And it's coming along nicely. It's about time to pull out some of that stuff that's cool weather crops. And this is the garden path. And yes, I've been watering. It is June, you know. Isn't this pretty? This was a birthday gift. And it's doing nicely. Okay, I'm gonna spin around here a little bit. And there's a few more vegetables, the overflow. Uh, I've got some dahlias planted that, in the pots that haven't come up. The little white stuff is uh, bucumbia and um, uh, zinnias. I can't remember the variety. The little white ones. Spinning around a little more. Almost back to the gate. And... Um, that's a mandevilla that I overwintered, and it just, I don't know, it's not blooming. I'm not sure what the problem is. That's a great big uh, daisy. Should be blooming soon. Peonies, done their, their bit. That's a limelight hydrangea that I've got in a pot. I'm going to grow it in a pot for, uh, oh, I don't know. A while. Uh, that way I can move it around and see where it likes to be. Eventually it'll go on the ground. Uh, I had a bunch of hollyhocks here, but they, uh, oh, they got bugs on them real bad, so I cut them down. I saved this one stock to go to seed. And you can see it's a black hollyhock. Okay, back around here. Back to the overflow, I wanted to show you this. Oh, that's my shovel handle and my coffee. I am working out here this morning. Isn't that sedum? Oh, I think it's just gorgeous. It's new, just got planted oh, a week or so ago. Down here, that's a little tobacco plant. No, I'm sorry, that's a little coffee bean plant. And this was the original lily bed. These are not the ones I showed you before. Uh, these are a different batch. A little more, I don't know, orange red. There was a little rose right in there and I just dig, dug him up. He did not like it there. Although the creeping Jenny likes it real well. This guy will be blooming soon. That's my foxglove that I'm letting go to seed. Here's my tansy. I'm sorry, yarrow. This is yarrow. I always get those mixed up. I just staked him up this morning. He was falling down. So hopefully the heads will reach for the sun here shortly. And that's what's left of the lilies I showed you earlier. Got a big one that's getting ready to bloom. Okay, let's spin around a little more. Uh, the geranium is last year's birthday present, and it's doing okay. Roses in the background. Here's a daylily. I don't have many daylilies, but that one's a nice one. 
and spinning around. Oh, does that look familiar, Sandy? <laughs> and this was, uh, well, this bed doesn't have much going on in it right now. We're kind of in between things. That is uh, spiderwort there that's blooming. Some people call it God's eye. Oh, that's a little compost pile. We'll scoot right on by it. Okay. Isn't that uh, in the background there? That's my one of my oak leaf hydrangeas. And uh, it's really outdoing itself this year. And more daylilies. And we'll spin around a little bit. Going to work on this bed today, I hope, if it doesn't get too hot. That's some uh, bee balm or minarda uh, and God's eye. And then in the front is uh, lamb's hair. On the fence is uh, clematis. And uh, more stuff that's not in bloom yet. My neighbor's pile of mulch there. And uh, I think I've bored you enough for today.